Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's me, Action Packed. I'm back with another Black Ops 2 Zombies update. As you can see here, we have the Zombies Bus Delivery 1. I will be showing you the second one just here in a second, but I haven't been real occupied on YouTube. I've been real busy the last couple days, so I want to talk about this one briefly and then go do the Delivery 2 because this one is also very important. Now, I think this has to do with the whole buildable system that they're going to have in the transit mode for Black Ops 2 Zombies, and basically that's where you're going around the map, you're gathering different parts for things, you put them together, or you gather different tools and whatnot to help you survive to help you kill the zombies and to get into new places now this here i'm not exactly sure what this could be used for maybe it could be used for turning on the power early maybe it could be used as some sort of light when you're in a dark area i'm not exactly sure let me know what you think about that in the comments below but just so you guys know, when this picture on the screen was posted on the Call of Duty news feed for zombies, it said, This is it. The bus is pulling in. Better grab that delivery before the undead beats you to it. Once the bus is gone, so are the goods. Now what that probably means is that all these delivery updates they're giving us on CallofDuty.com is the deliveries and the goods that we're going to be getting on the bus. Whether it's, you know, when the bus stops and then goes, whether we decide to get on it or not decides whether we're going to get this item or not. If you get on the bus, most likely you're going to get that item. And if you decide to go on foot, it's probably going to be a lot harder. You don't have the bus to your advantage. You might, you might think that it might be easier going on foot. You have a lot more space. You can run around the tracks, do rape trains. But, you know, the zombies have been seen going a lot faster, so maybe that's not a good idea. Plus, getting on the bus is a huge bonus. You're going to get one of these deliveries every once in a while. Whether it's one cycle around the map, it gives you another delivery item, or each stop it will give you another item up to a certain amount of items. No one knows about that sort of thing yet, but we'll probably find out maybe this Friday, October 12th, when they show us some gameplay. Now getting into Delivery 2, and by the way, as a side note, I just want to tell you guys, if you don't know this already, on CallofDuty.com, that Zombies feed, where all these uh, deliveries, these zombie bus deliveries are coming from, if you don't view them within like a certain time frame, I'm not exactly sure what that time frame is yet, that could be a hint towards something in the game, I'm not sure. If you don't visit the website within that time frame, you will actually not be able to view these items. Which, that definitely relates to the game, because if you miss the bus, you're going to not get that delivery or that item the bus has to offer. Now, if you were one of those people that actually got on the website within that time frame, this is the first thing you saw was this GIF image you're seeing on the screen. Now, my theory, this is one of the places where you're going to get one of the delivery items. To be more specific, the delivery to item, which is what you're seeing on the screen right now, this ladder. Now, what I think is, I'm pretty sure I remember in the trailer, from this point, you go to a barn. After this diner, you go to a barn, and maybe you use this ladder to actually climb up above the barn and then get a different item, or maybe there's just a bigger area up there where you could survive longer. Or maybe that's where you can access a buildable, which is basically where you can gather parts to put other things together that you would find throughout the map, like I was saying earlier. Put all these different parts together that are scattered around the map to make one good weapon, maybe a riot shield or or something like that that we saw in the uh, breakdown trailer if you haven't seen that I'll have a link in the description of that as well now a summary of this video is basically delivery one you're going to get that at bus stop one delivery two you're going to get that at bus stop two now what I'm thinking is that once you get delivery one at bus stop one you're gonna have to use that delivery uh, package that you got at bus stop one to use it at the second bus stop and then that delivery two that you got at bus stop two you're going to have to use that at bus stop three you know wherever that location is at which I'm thinking bus stop three is that barn I'm not exactly sure but I'll put up an annotation or you know something in the description telling you guys if that's actually right or wrong maybe you guys can correct me in the comments and I'll go double check so yeah guys let me know what you think about my theories and ideas delivery one and two in the comments down below I'm really excited to hear what you guys got to say about this and as always I hope you guys are having a wonderful day or night depending on where you live and thank you for watching this video.